Hey guys, what's up? This is Gallman, and welcome to Fort Solace on the PlayStation 5. This is a space thriller game, is one of the ways that it's described on the Steam page, so we'll see what ends up happening. This caught my interest a little bit. I haven't looked at too much, but I'm always down for, you know, space games, and it's particularly things going wrong in space. I'm trying to figure out why what's happened so let's see uh, how we can do things is there a left image needs to be barely visible to me okay this is barely visible we're gonna go for performance courage is not the lack of fear it is acting in spite of it mock twain Am I going to have to demonstrate a particular amount of courage here? The hell's happening on this planet? So, you hated it? Ah, I wouldn't say hate, I just... I wish he had done more. How could he possibly have done more? They were surrounded by zombies. Uh, regardless, I'm caught up now. So it's time for a new show. I believe it's your pick. Mm, I'm taking my time with this one. Yeah, just like that hole. It's looking a lot better since I got up here. Is that before or after you spent a week fixing it? These weather patterns are getting worse. Most of our jobs now are repairing weather damage. Yeah, I really hadn't noticed. Then again, being stuck with you for cycle rotation is just as exciting. It could be worse. You could be stuck with... Enable multi -tool. Jack, you cut off then. What were you saying? Uh, urgent message received from Fort Solace. Status manual alert initiated. Current location prospect one. Okay. Yo, there's an alert. Solace is triggered. Solace? That relic? Manually initiated? I've never seen a manual one. No. Oh to think you wanted to spend your last shift watching me do all the heavy lifting. Jess, I am on vacation the minute tomorrow's shuttle arrives. I'll contact them, see if it's a false alarm. Well, how do you expect them to reply without power? If they respond, then it's a false alarm. OMG, you're so smart. You see, this is why I should pick the shows from now on. Is this about the zombies? I wouldn't possibly have any idea what you mean. I knew it! Fort Solace. This is Jack Leary, senior engineer, responding to your alarm. Please come in. Jack Leary, responding to Fort Solace alarm. You have everything okay over there? Anything? No. Weird. To trigger the alarm and not respond. I was gonna say, if it was manually triggered, they have something. Don't throw from here. Why don't you check it out? People who use that expression don't normally apply that logic to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that vacation can't come soon enough. I am. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be so zoomed in here on this guy's back, but all right. Oh, my map. R1, I guess. <laughs> Messages. Oh shit, we got we got a log here. Hi Jack, I hope this finds you well. Your annual leave beginning 1210 has been approved. Tara wishes you a relaxing and recharging brain. Thanks, Catherine Watkins, HR manager. Uh, M Spindler, subject LTV suspension. Very funny, I almost put my back out. Mike Spindler, hospitality manager. B Frampton, subject vending machine support. I don't want to alarm anyone here, but someone seems to have fixed the minor vending machines and undone our hustle. I'll investigate. Benedict Frampton, lead engineer. What are we doing? Oh, we've got audio messages. I message. may be running late, but I can assure you it's not because I lost track of time decorating my helmet. Call signs matter. I had a thought about one for you. Ready? Up there. It matches your mood. See you down there inside. That's so mean, Jessica. So I guess we're in 2080. That's that's pretty up there. This isn't the format for it, but you never answer your phone. Do you want me to bring a beer up to the wreck? I'm grabbing a snack. Let me know. 
Maybe even record a log back. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have oh gosh, we have quite a few categories to go through. Alright! I'm just pressing random buttons to see, like, if there's a sprint. Presently there isn't. Okay, triangle pulls this up. R1 as well. But R1's like the map. Shortcut. Press X to interact with world objects and gain more context on key events. I love context! I'm heading down now. We can take the LTV. I need to repair this hull before the storm gets worse. I think we have an hour or so before it hits. Okay. I can pick you up on the way back. I don't know. You should probably just come with me. Some interactions are sequential. Performing certain ones can unlock others. Makes sense. Makes sense. We're following a timeline here. Frequency, just No problem. I'll finish up here, and then if you're not back in time, I can take the HTV. Roger that. Jack out. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you this isn't the military? Okay, it's fine. Roger that. Don't get lost. It's okay. I'm sure I won't get lost. I'm sure Jack knows where he's going. Oh, we, we pulled out a little bit. We're not always going to be super zoomed in on his back. This is a sizable area. I'm curious about exploration and getting more context clues. But we can also just drive out, I suppose. Set course for Fort Solace. Calculating. Jack Leary, senior engineer on route to Fort Solace. Planum Quadrant responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure or wait further information. Recording submitted. Okay, I'm heading to Solace. Keep an eye on that storm. I died it'll pass me by unnoticed. This almost feels like I could control it. But we don't have any control right now. Oh, that's a lot of rocks flinging out. Jesus. Hopefully we don't get a rock slide right on top of us. Honestly, I thought the, uh, the car was going to be, like, out of power or something, and I would need to hook something up to it. You know, a little bit of tutorialization. I guess we're keeping it moving here. While we're driving, well, <laughs> while Jack's being driven, because I think this is autopilot. Uh, this looks pretty good. I don't know, just the car itself. And the visuals of this. I'm digging. see how things look within Fort Solace itself. Is that Fort Solace in the distance? That's yeah, that wasn't too bad. Starring Roger Clark as Jack Leary. Julia Brown as Jessica Appleton.
Troy Baker's Wyatt Taylor. Troy Baker. Troy Baker's the only name I'm gonna recognize. I think. <laughs> Solace, Jack Leary here. Entering your perimeter. Do you copy? Signal blocked. Solace is locked down. Well, there goes your power theory. Why would it be in lockdown? System damage? Dare I suggest more weather damage? Yeah, maybe, but <laughs> lockdown seems extreme. Is there no sign of security? No, they must be done for the night. Storm's picking up here. How about over there? Full swing here, so I've hopped in the HTV to keep you company. Lovely. It was that or nap the storm out. <laughs> I'm flattered. And I can't nap with that noise, so you're not me. Chairman, listen, I'm gonna head to the atrium. Make contact there. Okay. If I can even get access to this place. But I'll, I'll assume that even with this lockdown, there's got to be a way to manage. What's up here? Port Solace Ridge Access. Right. What's through here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've had this on way too long. I thought I saw someone inside my my car. <laughs> I'm just already like paranoid. <laughs> What's gonna be on here? Could be monsters. Could just be, you know, humans in space shenanigans. Uh, whoopsies. <laughs> Getting a little stir crazy up here. Oh no, someone slipped and had their ha face broke. Oi. Alright, maybe if we fuck with the power or something out here. Oh. Looks like I'm climbing for now. Climbing? Well, the lift's out and the storm's on its way. Roger. Over and out. No, oh, who's a cool kid? Seriously, though, make sure you're wired in. Weather's in full swing here. No idea why I'm <coughs> trying to repair the hull. <coughs> All right, we've got our quick time events. They're gonna catch me off guard. I'm gonna die. Whoa! Ah! Yep. Worst part, I absolutely hit it. L1R1. How are you getting on? It's been a while since I was out in a storm. It still hurts. Weather resistance suits my ass. I'll take that as a hard yes, then. Ugh, I got it this time. Gonna have to be quick on the draw. I don't this know what... This place really is a relic. I'm not sure which buttons I should be hovering my fingers over. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Maybe I can just shift myself around. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought we were doing, but it didn't work the first time I did a uh, uh, left analog stick to the left. Climbing. 
this looked like a battery thing I could mess with. Oh, next time I'm just cutting the door. You had your tools and chose to climb. Yes. Been a long day. And to be fair, maybe not a good idea to cut into a lockdown area anyways. Chapter 1. Dark Descent. I'll head over to the atrium, see if anyone's home. Nothing on local comms? No. Paint the picture for me. What, of solace? It's old school. Still got single structures. You should feel right at home then. Wow. <laughs> it certainly doesn't look welcoming. I'm saying nothing. Well, maybe the front door is wide open, because uh, without the ability to sprint around, my interest in walking to every single structure out of pure curiosity is, is it's pretty low. <laughs> Lockdown in effect. Strange. The lock overrides are still on. It's not strange. It's protocol when a lockdown is triggered. Hmm. Disengage locking bolts to resume operation. X? Oh. Well, that wasn't that bad. Oxygen reserves are still active. Well, the backup generator maintains oxygen levels. Did you think they just powered the light? Uh, well, not anymore. <laughs> Keep thinking these places are gonna be like... All broken and in need, re uh, and in need re of repairs, like a point-and-click adventure. But so far, we're just waltzing right into this lockdown. Yeah, pretty. I would never. Uh, your comms just went local. Please tell me you didn't remove your helmet. Oh, you know I don't like to wear it all the time. I can't believe you actually removed it on site. Oxygen levels are stable. It's not natural to wear it that long. Are we gonna pretend you're wearing yours? I knew it. <laughs> I'm not the one responding to a lockdown alert. I'll be fine. The backup generators power more than just the lights, you know. At least it's sinking in. I don't know, I'm down for having the helmet Standard on. Standard issue. It's not as comfy as it looks. I've always liked mine. Well, I'm not drawing a dog on mine. Uh, it's a frog? Oh. <laughs> Terra Mining Industries building a brighter future. Stairwell elevator. Well, the only one that looks lit up is that middle path. Which means, maybe... Door locked. Yeah, alright. Yeah. I would never respond to a lockout or a lockdown in a place that's not responding and then take off one of my only sources of fucking protection. in the place. Look, I get that half of that's like a glass pane, so it's not going to really give you any physical protection. But, you know, if we walk into an area and then, you know, the atmosphere begins to like fucking leak in, we're on like Mars or some shit. We, we, we don't do well with atmosphere here. What do we got here? Hell of a storm on the way. <laughs> Probably a good idea in advance to uh, genuinely keep this closed. Join us on the Star Walk. 
Experience the wonders of stargazing. Wednesdays, Atrium, 9 p.m. Oh, Starwalk's in full swing here, too. They are amazing. People back home just can't imagine it. A star is a star. What's the big deal? This is why I go with Karen. <laughs> look, maybe maybe the stars are a little bit less exciting when you like, oh, would you look at that? Live on another planet. At me. They still use I five nodes here. Really? Yeah, I'm looking at one now. I'm gonna hold on to it. That's a fantastic idea. Just in case we need it to be able to open one of these doors or power some other kind of device. I'm assuming I haven't gotten any messages. That's fine. Well, this is spooky. Why? The place is lifeless. Are you sure you're at the right place? So they want solace. I think so. Maybe best to grab the schematics. Just to confirm, I can access the site files from here. Good idea. Download the Fort Solace schematics. Fort Solace 2053. Even this tree makes me feel old. 2053? It's almost as old as me. Hard to think we've been up here that long. And we got up to Mars pretty quickly in this timeline. Map data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab that. I wish I could bring this closer to my face. Kinda gotta squint my eyes here, you know? But, alright, we can see that, uh... Some of these doors are open and some of them are not. I wonder how much I could have explored outside. Yeah, I assume most of them were like... Most of the structures we saw were locked off. Maintenance unit stairwell. Eh. Press R1 to view your current map location anytime. Oh, wait, no, I got that part. Coffee? Whoa. Haha, <laughs> nice! <laughs> We're gonna take a sit and everything. Oh my god, take a seat. Ah. <sighs> take a couple of swigs before we check things out here. Nothing wrong with impairing judgment in an emergency situation. Shrieking on the job. Damn, man, three uh, gulps. Drinking on the job. Nothing wrong with staying hydrated out here. We both know that wasn't water. <laughs> You're not the one walking around in the dark. All right, let's get this door opened up. Offices and conference room. Hello. Anybody here? Oh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> what did? The I-5. No, be careful handling those. They were replaced for a reason. It's okay. It just needs to open one door. For now. Hmm. Well, I don't actually know how to read this map. Look, by the looks of it, this is kind of like a dead end. Okay, all right, all right, all right. just 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 confirming things. What do we have here? Same tactic as me. Can't miss birthdays. Really? You literally said, "Don't get me anything." <laughs> that sounds nothing like me. 
to do organic. Uh, uh, hold up. Oh, organize. <laughs> to do organize yesterday's meeting. Meeting rates. Staff party Thursday, 6 p.m. 0807, mom's birthday call home. Is that going to be the code for something? My I'm mom, so I love her so much. Huh. Gotta remember, mom's birthday. Wow. Bingo. Managed to find a key card? And I thought I was old. You are old. No one has said bingo since 2030. Use computer terminals to unlock doors. Oh, yeah? I don't like that we have a camera watching the medical bay door. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Servers are currently offline. Facility are operating on backup power. Restart generators to restore full power to facility. Messages to everyone based at Fort Solace. Uh, please can all staff take extra care during storm season when on the surface of Mars. Storms are more frequent and can cause serious accidents. Please follow the appropriate safety measures when suiting up. Thanks, Adam Hoskins. Terror care. As we approach storm season, all employees are reminded of, of our ongoing 15% reduction in healthcare plans for a limited time. <laughs> well, that's just... <laughs> Alright, I guess. Anna, you won't believe what happened last night. We need to have a coffee break. Canteen in 10? No eye rolling. Remember, we have glass doors. Haha, <laughs> Claire Smith. Fort Solace. All residents are to remain mindful of the power issues throughout the base. Please adhere to safety protocols in place. Once again, power is limited and is there to support our primary systems. Oh, did I download it to my thing? Okay. I'm looking around a little bit more before I open that door. Alright, I've looked around. Unlock help door. Me access the lower levels. Terminal content is automatically uploaded to the multi-tool. How's it organized though? Oh, jeez. It's organized awfully. That's how it's organized. Yeah. It's just thrown in with the, everything for, like, me, too. Hmm. Well, better to read those the first time around, I guess. Read them on the computer terminal. I haven't seen one of these in years. Mm. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. Maybe I shouldn't have messed with that. Maybe there was like, you know, an important number left there. Oh, wow, look at them. They're on a little, little safari. Attack the day, just like that. Wait, oh, what the hell is that? Just like that yeah, camel. Be rude not to. Why is your USB stick glowing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my boo. Happy birthday to you. Oh, how cute. Try hard. This is why you're divorced. <laughs> I'm sure Patricia wouldn't list that as the only reason. Oh my god. <laughs> is there anything over in here? It's just the restroom. Well, I want to see it. Okay, alright, we've got... You know, honestly, no, no, never mind. I was gonna say it looks kind of sizable, but no, that was perspective fucking with me. <laughs> it's actually tiny as shit. This is awful. But hey, you get a little light above you. That's fancy. I 
hold on. I need to, I need to check something. I'm curious about about the voice actor for this. Mm, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought he was somebody that I've heard before. I mean, I've maybe I've heard of him like like other roles, but like I was specifically being like this guy fucking sounds like well, somebody I've listened to in audiobooks for like hundreds of hours. We got in room three. Ah, oh, Rubik's Cube. I don't think we're solving this, but maybe Jack. How do people solve this? Oh, no. Is this like genuinely like solvable? Because I don't know how to solve Rubik's Cubes. At all. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, the end goal of Rubik's Cubes, and given enough time, I could probably manage. But from what I've learned about Rubik's Cubes, part of it's also just, like, learning uh, patterns and, like, <laughs> learning how to, like, use those pattern recognitions and techniques to just, like, get faster and faster with spinning things around until you can solve a Rubik's Cube in like 8 to 10 seconds no matter what's you know no matter what it's organized as uh, now they've made me really kind of want to uh, solve this <laughs> I give up I give up I give up I'm not <laughs> I'm moving on Real Rubik's Cubes are more fun, but that is a cool little thing. Anyone who, like, actually likes doing Rubik's Cubes and, like, knows how they work. It's so creepy when everyone's off. We spend most of our time alone fixing sites in space. Never alone with a phone. That's gratitude for you. You could do a lot worse. What is this little statue over here? Little astronaut with a flag? Yeah, march it on, buddy! Ah, look at that little guy go! How's the search going? Uh, it's ongoing. Yeah, sounds it. <laughs> Frontier Summit 2035 I guess that's all that was over here A little disappointing We'll see how things end up going with Uh I'm going to head down to the B levels and check there. Okay. The overall mystery of this place. Press triangle to access your multi tool and revisit content at any time. Hold on, can I can I go outside still? Probably not because I took off my fucking helmet, right? And it didn't really seem like an option to put it back on. He just stares at it like. Whoa. I need to make contact with the Solace team. God. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I wanted to see if you'd be dumb enough in my control to open up the airlock, but he wasn't. A little bit of self preservation. Wow, oh, that's new. Alright, maybe I can force this open. Come on! Need to get some WD-40 on this planet. Still no sign of anyone. 
Where could they be? Maybe they are cursed to forever walk the surface of Mars feeding on brains. Uh, are we back on this? I'm just saying his sacrifice was heroic. I'm glad to see chivalry isn't dead. Yeah, but he did die? How romantic. <laughs> Lockdown in effect. Well, I'm hoping there's a little bit of supernatural, or at least just like sci-fi, like level horror going on beyond some of these. This is a lot of, a lot of build up, you know. Well, I guess we know which hallway we're coming back to over and over again. Hmm. What's over here? Benny thinks someone is on to us. Yeah, he dropped me a message saying he told them it was you. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, if only they knew. I can barely use it with credits. It's the perfect crime. Indeed. Little vending machine heist? What's going on with that? Private rooms. God damn, I guess I'm gonna have to get one of every single level, huh? I was trying to leave. <laughs> I was pressing circle. He just kept on going. Door locked. This lockdown sure does have everything locked down. I wonder how many people were in this facility. This is a little bit more cozy. Remember that time you hit a seven ball on Chris? <laughs> he lost his mind. I think it was long gone before that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too many solo jobs out here. You found a table? Yeah, a little pool table. Nice. Still got it. It must go for a walk when we play. Yeah, with yeah. my Boston heyday, I could have given you a game. <laughs> sure. Dead man's hand. That's all I need. Ugh. Look at that poster. Dead solar. That's probably what we were watching. Oh, I'd never get out of that with my back. Anakin? Oh, no, nope, just a little figure and put in front of a light. At least Solar had a more engaging premise. Dead Solar? Yeah. It was just an idiot clearly searching a haunted station. <laughs> I just heard it. Huh. Oh, for the record, I'm not searching. I'm investigating. I swear to God. All right, hold on. All right, I gotta do it again. Wait, is Roger Clark fucking Arthur Morgan? Okay, well that... <laughs> that would man, <laughs> That would explain why his voice feels familiar. Alright. It's not the voice I was thinking. But Arthur Morgan for Red Redemption too. Okay. I think this is the only time I've ever seen a rec room empty. You finally have that peace and quiet you always wanted. Not quite how I imagined it. Still no sign of anyone. Not a soul. There should at least be an officer around. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Okay, I'll try and access the records from here. See who the officer on duty is. Okay. Level five, access required. Five, 
Golly. <laughs> I definitely don't have that. I imagine it'd be a while before I could even get up there. Well, could be a person. Oi! Hello? Made contact? Uh, maybe with the shadow of a fridge. I think you may have been up here too long. Door locked. Yeah, what's going on here? This definitely looks like a person, like, sitting down. But, probably something else. Which room is what? Canteen, hallway, supply room. Well. Ah, it's locked. Oh, is this one of those battery doors? What are you doing? I'm resetting the lock. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. What if someone's hurt? It's justified. That's not how it works at all, but... Okay. The most logical place for them to be is their quarters. I didn't expect that little mini game. <laughs> I was just, I thought it was going to tell me, oh, I need a battery, and I was going to backtrack over here for it. What's in their supplies? Hey, guess what I found? Am I actually supposed to guess? Well, you remember when we first came up here? Before they started arguing over the territory? Yeah. They still have one of those old Earth Force flags. Earth what? Well, not that. I think it was called Earth Expedition Force. <laughs> it wasn't that either, but yeah, I know what you mean. Well, they still have theirs. And where did you find that? In a supply room. Why are you in a supply room? I miss peanut butter. I took a chance. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. United Earth. Mm, uh, one planet, one goal, maybe? Hey, there could be something in here to use for later. And hey, if there... You know, there's substantially less people presently alive in this place. They wouldn't mind a peanut butter bar or two missing. Who knows how long we're going to be on this station after all. Hmm. Don't have... Level one. Access required. Have a key card. All right. Warning, not in use. Door locked. You say it's not in use, but I've got a feeling someone was hiding some stuff away, more than likely. Looks cozy. Life of luxury for some, I guess. How do you know? You can't even see it. It's hard to be worse than the engineering shack at Miner. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair point. Hmm, Wyatt Taylor. Level five, access required. Damn, all right. It's the character that uh, Troy Baker <laughs> voices. When is he showing up? Helen Dunpart, Sh uh, chief botanist. I don't know if I could ever get used to that. Used to what? You know, the... um. The, the weather windows. <laughs> you mean the climate simulators? Yeah, well, I prefer my name better. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Internal temp 4C, external temp negative 72C. Jesus! What is this? Never seen anything like that. Room's a little dark to fully see it. Let's see. Sample C26. How were their botany experiments going here? 
Hi Helen, once again we're having issues with escaped bees. Not for the first time this month, they've somehow infiltrated a colleague suit. Could this please be looked at, as it's making certain team members rather uncomfortable? Dude, I would be so livid. <laughs> You're in space and the bees are still in your suits? Come on. Helen, the new approach to phase testing has really helped us isolate the growth aspects of the candidate. Previous phases have been too aggressive. This allows us to focus on varying samples uh, on varying samples in isolation. I believe this will help lead to stronger batches in the immediate future. Alright. Helen, just following up from our meeting this evening, I continue to stress concerns about the health of Nick's team. I fear you're not taking this issue seriously. I am keen to discuss the matter further with you. Let me know when you have a moment. Thanks, Wyatt Taylor. Hi Helen, just checking in before tonight's run. If you could ping me over what you need, that would be great. Thanks. Hello, it was great to see you earlier. Not many venture out to our shack. I will reset your password as requested. Sorry to hear about your login issues, but hopefully these are now resolved. Please remember to reset the password the first time you log in. Thanks. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and type that code up. 020689. Don't know where it's going to go, but oh, should be useful. Signing off the week, no more hopeful than we were at the start. The soil here, on the Solus Planum, continues to show encouraging signs of adaptation, but the plant life that interacts with it, however, seems to aggressively grow and expire. Almost like an accelerant. Our planet is dying. Which one? Just like these plants. We're running out of time. Tomorrow is a new day. A new day, new experiment to fuck everything up, huh? So this was recorded, I'm assuming, September 18th? What about this one? Progress, if you can call it that, has been rising since we introduced the new formula. The results we have now can buy us time to... Two, Helen. That's two now. There's nothing to suggest it has anything to do with Compound 26. Liar! They have been transporting this stuff for months and... I don't know. It's to tell you, Wyatt. It has nothing to do with what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I have a duty here. And the work you're doing, it needs looking into. Well, unless you have clearance... I don't see that happening. People are getting sick, Helen. They're getting sick. How can you not see that? Because it's not true. It's confirmation bias, Helen. You know it. Is this still on? Hmm. Her plants making people sick? What the hell? What on earth is going on here? I could barely hear that. I said, what on earth is going on here? Honestly, I meant the monitor. Ah. Your helmet has a much better mic. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> is this a key card? It'd be fucking, it'd be a massive, oh my god. <laughs> it's just a, it's a data pad. <laughs> uh, I guess this would be the newest one. Hostile to the work we're trying to do here. He doesn't understand the people we can save. Oh, we're so close now. I can feel it. The storms are coming, but once the season passes, we should be able to ship Compound 26 to other sites. It's, it's, it's funny, really. Today I was asked if 
the cost of our work, of the, the toll that it's taken. It's worth it. It's a small price to pay. How the hell are they doing? I mean, besides experimenting on like plants and stuff, but like what costs that? What did they have to pay? You fucking spike their potatoes or something, lady? What? Huh? Oh. Hey! Knock that Honestly. off! I couldn't help myself. I'm already down here with nothing but a helmet light. I don't need a soundtrack. How's that helmet working out for you? Just splendid. Good to hear. <laughs> I still don't know how you even watch those old movies. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Hmm. This is kind of all right. An all right looking setup. Waste management. Be a decent looking bathroom and showers. Not so decent looking creepy fucking hallway. Oh, okay. Well, uh, a little bit better besides the malfunctioning door. Uh, all these rooms empty, huh? What's going on with Claire's room? This takes me back. Saul. Saul zero one. Cool. Uh, is this computer on? I heard like a beep. Beep. That's a shame. A place like this must have a secret room somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, but probably not in like the worker quarter library That's shelf. This should make getting around easier. They won't mind if I borrow it. Key cards grant access to previously locked uh, new areas. Sweet. All right. That is much faster than I thought it was going to be. Man, this person had a whole bunch of snacks in here, too. They were ready. Ah, that's what that beep was. Okay, the door closing behind us. Well, I might as well check out the area down here. Even if it's just a crew bathroom. Never know what could be there. Wait. Um. Damn it, I was trying to close the door, but it doesn't close unless you walk away from it. Yes, I found a fellow believer of yours. Oh, really? What did you ask them? What triggered the lockdown? What? Exactly. Well, let's hope for my sake that that isn't what actually happened. Oh, hold on, sorry. I was... <laughs> The uh, game, like, rotating the object in your hand is also tied to gyroscope controls. I had noticed because I, uh, <laughs> I had to have my PlayStation controller hooked up, so I'm trying to keep it, it's like barely within range of the cable I'm using, so 
I kind of have to keep it just like in a stationary position, lest the cable get disconnected. What is this? Test specimen. Do not open. I mean, hey, who's going to stop me? Crazy what these samples go for back home. Creepy. I'm guessing a flickering light shadow demon. Close. I think I'm looking at a face in the wind. Okay, now I need to know. This some drawing I found. Ah, yes. The scavenger hunt continues. D. Roberts. Hopefully it's not just what they were seeing before. What do you have here? Battery? Seems like I got a battery. <laughs> Quiet taste, I guess. Seaweed. Hmm. Is this like a juice? Or is this like a food snack thing? <laughs> Cause you know, I feel like those would be two very different flavors. You know, seaweed's really not too bad. Uh, you remember that time we went to see No Escape? Remember it? I'll never get those hours back. Oh, what a show. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking like spam masubi. She even just like seaweed and rice. It's pretty good. This is intriguing. What is that supposed to be? Relax, unwind, escape. Gaia Spa and Resort. Book your 2081 stay now. Is that on Earth? Or is that on Mars? Probably Mars, I guess, if they're advertising to a bunch of That's people. That's one hell of a nosebleed. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even fucking see that. <laughs> they even went through the effort of putting it back up though, so maybe it was maybe it's not blood. Maybe it's like paint or something. It's probably blood though. I mean, for a place, if, if whatever was going on with the plant experiments made everybody sick enough to, like, vomit blood, I think the place would be a little bit more dirty, you know, just saying, so. Doesn't seem too bad, you know, blood isn't splattering every single wall, at least in these first Hello? areas. There is no one here. Oh, uh, try the medical bay. There's always someone on duty. But what if an injury caused the lockdown? Records say it's Wyatt Taylor. Hmm. Roger. <sighs> Gain access to the medical bay. Well, hold on. Has anyone got... L1 door stuff here? No? All right. I can access this door over here. Where was medical? Oh! Wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? In which case... Yeah, I see it. Med bay. Surgery. Alright, we go back out to the stairwell then. It's just down, not up. I do wish we had way more fucking urgency here. At least once we've like explored the area, let me fucking run. Level 
All right. What's happening in the medical bay? You what kind of access do I need for the greenhouse? God damn. Oh, it's odd. What is? The door, it's been sabotaged. Sabotaged? Something snapped the manual lever off. <gasps> Something? Stop it, you know what I mean. Well, maybe we take a peek through the fucking window. I'm not seeing much though, so, eh. Why would someone remove the power supply? From the door? Yeah. I have another I-5 I can try. Alright, but now... Access denied. These I-5, why did we stop using them? The I-5? They just became too unstable. Any surge would be dangerous. Why? No reason. Do not try to surge that door open. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I, uh... I just convinced the door to open all on its own. Patient records. Hmm. What's the date again? Seems like we're in October of 2080. Uh, actually, you know what? We've got a patient record on November 1st of 2080. Assuming that, you know, that 11 is for November. Workplace medical examination reports, date of birth, date of visit, uh, notes, dizziness, loss of balance, low blood pressure, needs to stay within radiation safety limits, potential radiation poisoning, daily administration of potassium iodide, check up in two weeks. All right, irritable, irritable right eye and dizziness for Salem Athor, symptoms potentially caused by radiation exposure, pulling out vestibular disorder with CT scan. Okay. Well, those two are a little bit far apart. One's in February, one's in September. Hmm. Please take care or take additional care to support your team through this turbulent weather period. If any medical staff requires support, don't hesitate to call on our fantastic resources. Terra well-being. We look forward to welcoming all residents on a star walk this evening. Star walks help remind us of the spectacle that your residency provides. We hope that you can all join us. Walk will begin at 1900. All right. Residents, many of you are aware of the exposure cases I treated last week. I request you please respect the limited surface access guards that are in place. I would appreciate you all leading by example and not participating in tonight's star walk if you are experiencing any of the symptoms outlined in my mail. Well. Some good news. I think my work here is beginning to pay off. Todd's team uh, is finally beginning to listen to my warnings about exposure. They recorded higher rad levels at the site this week, and I've had to treat two of his staff for uh, radiation uh, sickness. Dawson is showing signs of hypotension, and Selene complained of dizziness. Uh, current treatment is daily administration of potassium iodide. I'm pretty sure we caught it quick, but out of an abundance of caution, I'll go ahead and schedule a CT scan for Selene um, just to rule out vestibular disorder. Um, but I just have no idea why these guys insist on working such long hours at the site. They know that it's against regulations. I just don't think that they're fully aware of the risks. But who knows? Maybe... 
the taste of seaweed in their mouth will remind them to put their health first. <laughs> Is that what that seaweed pack was for? It wasn't just like they wanted to have seaweed, it's because it was their source of... of iodide. Huh. Oh, locked. Alright. What's happening in B2 subsection C? There's definitely an aggressive amount of locked doors. But, that's what we're here for. It is a lockdown, I guess. Isolation room. Remember when Tom got drunk and ate a soil sample? <laughs> I had completely forgotten about that. Yeah. Has the game of truth or dare ever ended well? He was in ISO for days. I can't imagine how he lasted two weeks in that room. Me neither. Oh my god. <laughs> Two weeks in a room like this? Ah, uh, uh, you know, eh, there's ways to manage, I guess. Uh, Seam, I'm putting this on the network as a reminder to both you and myself to please fix my video calling. Um, it's great that I can talk to you, but I would like to talk to my family. So, let me know the status, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Wyatt. Building a new home. <laughs> By keeping you in this old locked up fort. Oh, another supply room. Ooh, I found Officer Taylor's SIA. He's not in it. If he was in it, then I would have found Officer Taylor. Why would he take it off? I think maybe he was injured. The blood on this suit matches the waiting room. Okay, do one final sweep and we just call the search over. This, it doesn't feel right. Agreed. You say that, Jesse, but... Where's a storm incoming? I think we're fucking locked here until it's over. Ooh, Jesus. What happened here? I guess he was trying to band himself up. All right, well, <laughs> it rules out just an aggressive amount of red paint, I guess. Did they uh, record a log here? I wonder what he means. What was he hearing? I wish we could have described it. But it wouldn't surprise me if people were trying to like sneak in behind everybody else, whether for monetary gains or otherwise. Rachel. Is that the name of the plan or the person who owns it? Hi, Wyatt. Rest assured that the backup power maintains full support for all medical facilities on site. Our persisting power issues should not affect your department. All right. Hi, Wyatt. Thanks for contacting Adam about access to the engineering sector. As per Officer uh, Richardson's multi-tool access plan mandate, my team is not able to accommodate your request at this time. 
Happy to talk about it further in the canteen tonight. Thanks. Uh, hi, Wyatt. My colleague has left you a sample plan as requested on the A level of the greenhouse. Please let me know if it's satisfactory. Wyatt, you know I'm not able to comment on the operations of other departments. I understand your concerns, but I can assure you nothing untoward is occurring on this site. Have you tried speaking to Helen about it? I really think that would help. Has it seemed uh, fixed your video calling? Let me know. I generally didn't know you could change the difficulty. Thanks for showing me a seam. <laughs> are designed to aid our mental health and should anyone actually monitor these things I want you to know that as a medical officer I concur in theory but in practice I just I need to spend time with my family that's what I really need and not just watch them I need to see them because that's what I'm doing right now I'm watching them <laughs> I think these next five months are going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, oh, and remind me to speak to Helen about getting Rachel a space plant because that's what she wants. <laughs> Okay, so that plant has Rachel's name on it. I guess that's that's Rachel's not the name of the plant. When was that recorded? August? Okay, and this one's September. The situation regarding site exposure is a growing concern. I've spoken with Tout numerous times, increasing safety regulations. Today. Today wasn't good. One of Nick's staff was admitted after suffering from extreme dehydration and fatigue. We had to sedate him. His hands wouldn't stop shaking. Jeez. And after the patient vomited blood, Bleh. he was sent to Center Point for further treatment. They'll administer standard care for hematemesis. I strongly recommend it based upon the current situation here at DTPA, but unfortunately at that point it's... Either way, the incident has been reported. Something is going on here. And I need to find out what it is. Uh, look at all this blood here. I don't think that went too well. Ah, surgery room, huh? Sure. Only one way to find out. Have you found Officer Taylor? Maybe. I'm going to take a look. I didn't even know the surgery room was locked. Oh, incinerator room. What do we got inside the trash? Whew, now I wish I had my helmet on. You should always have your helmet on. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. I wonder where oh, they go. burning. Ah. Uh... I wish I could squint my eyes in game a little bit. It almost looks like just some kind of metal metal tool, but it also kind of almost looks like bones. Maybe they're just burning plants? Yeah, it looks more like leaves and a stem. Which I guess would make sense with why it 
copying against what was going on here. Uh, this was the storage room, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess the surgery room would have been to our right over here. Oh, Jesus. I fucking didn't see this. I think there may have been an incident here. An incident? Well, what, what makes you think that? Just a feeling I have. A feeling? Well, it, is Officer Taylor there? I'll check. Definitely leads all the way into the surgery room. I don't think this guy's alive. This is a lot of blood loss. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's the guard, he's dead. What? The guard? A an accident? I'll take a look. Yeah, D. Richardson. No, I don't think this was an accident. Are you sure? Ooh, yeah, stabs the so. chest. Tag reads Richardson, security uniform. Okay, now we know why security didn't greet you. What was the last thing that happened here? Uh, perimeter checks complete. Weather damage minimal. Uh, most of the crew have already departed for center point. Uh, I'm still exploring the unexplained damage to the drill bay exterior door. Um, however, given that storm season is upon us, I'm not concerned about foul play at this moment. Uh, due to the damage, the door is offline for maintenance, and I've asked Officer Hoskins to inform the residents um, to avoid any uh, disruption. Okay, so people left preemptively before whatever is currently going on, which explains why the place is as empty as it is. That's good to learn. Let me do this, make sure I don't have to worry about that. He had a level 2 keycard on him, so that gives us some more access. Officer Taylor isn't here. But what the hell is going on there? No idea. It's time we update Central. I'm on it. I've <laughs> got a feeling that's not going to work out. Storm's probably going to block things off. down here I don't know but it might be time for us to take the the weapon for ourselves hmm why well, can't read brain scans let's see Obviously did like a CT scan. Maybe D. Richards was, uh, you know, covering something up. Okay, I've lost the update. Uh, it's time to head to the LCD. Oh, who the fuck is that? Look at the oh shit! What the fuck? Oh my god, now we have some urgency, Jesus! Come 
here. Yeah, I'm finding a way out. Oh god, I could barely fucking read that. Yeah, maybe we should carry that fucking helmet around now, huh? Well, whoever is fucking surviving in this place this is, this is all I need. Definitely trying to kill us. And they didn't look quite right. They looked like they were covered head to toe in like blood. Ah. Uh, we better get that fucking helmet and never take it off again. It's not like we look at this guy's face a whole bunch anyways. <laughs> Is the whole place getting fucking, like, vented or something? <laughs> It <laughs> keeps saying 80%, so I mean, hey, it's at least hovering around there for a while. We're just making use with the other 20%. Jesus Christ, how long does this go? Finally. I'm not sure there was a contamination. What do you mean? I'm not sure. What? Someone was down there with me. I'm heading back up to the surface level now. Down there with you? But who? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but they walked out and then the fucking place tried to kill me, so it's not looking good. And unfortunately for Jack, Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I should have had like a mask or something. Whoa, what the? Jessica? What's happening? Whoa! Helen? She's bleeding from her mouth. Uh, Officer Dunpart, who's that? Uh, Helen Dunpart, a senior botanist. Uh, Jess, contact Central. Tell them there, there's an incident here. An incident? What kind of incident? She got stabbed. Something is going on. She... She's multiple stab wounds. What? Contact Central. Tell them it's a violent act incident. Have them send aid. Helmet was damaged. She couldn't breathe, but she made the journey anyway. Well, how recently was she stabbed? Because we might get stabbed in our back yes, right how now. Many people are in solace. The system lists six. Mining crews stop during storm season. Those there are for research and cycle maintenance. She never had a chance. What was she? What was she running from? Well, surely it would be something outside the airlock. What the hell is going 
Hang on, Jack. You need to leave and let Central handle it. Jess, I can't just leave. I need to remove the lockdown and access the security cameras. I can check through the buildings that way. That sounds like a safer compromise. What a night. You need to let Central respond. One sweep and then you're out of there. I'll use the cameras to locate them, then I'm gone. Okay. Where's the generator located? East of the atrium. A straight shot from there to the maintenance unit. The airlock breach has sealed the outer door until I left the lockdown. Is there another way to the maintenance unit? Okay, according to the layout, you can take the drill bay hangar door, and that should bring you out in front of the maintenance unit. Drill bay hangar, got it. You can access it from the service tunnel from the stairwell. Roger. All right, I have to head back to the stairwell or something. Locate the drill bay hangar. Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> I got kind of what I wanted a little bit. <laughs> Things have definitely gone into... a bad direction, although it's seeming like it's not you know, sci-fi horror, just paranoid assholes stabbing each other and fighting against each other. But who knows? We'll see. 